Hey and welcome back, this is episode number 3 of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So let's start to write some code, but actually before we even write code, we need to do a bit of organization because we need to create a ROS2 workspace. You are not going to create your code wherever, okay, we need a bit of organization. So you are going to create a ROS2 workspace. In this ROS2 workspace, you will organize your code through different packages and you will also be able to build and install your custom code in your workspace so that you can actually use it. Also, if you work with a team, for example, and if you need to share code, well, that's what you are going to share. You are going to share a specific ROS2 workspace with many nodes inside so you can easily collaborate. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to install the build tool for ROS2. Because as I told you, this ROS2 workspace, you're going to write code, but you're also going to build your code and build your ROS2 nodes. And what is the build tool for ROS2? The build tool is named Colcon. So let's just install that. sudo apt, so we can do sudo apt update maybe. Put the password. Okay, and then we can do sudo apt install. That's going to be Python three dash colcon dash common extensions so just like that and you can use the auto completion as well so let's press enter okay and let's just install that so yes and let's wait a bit okay great and now it's as simple as this colcon is installed and we can use it there is just one more thing i'm going to show you now is because if you just use colcon like this, so that's going to be a command line tool, you will not be able to use the auto completion for the different options of the command line. So we need to do something more to enable that. So let's do clear here and let's go to so cd slash user, so usr share and then colcon, so colcon underscore arg complete. So you should have this now and then slash hook. And in here, you can see we have a bash script. And that's going to be very similar to what we did with the environment setup for ROS2. We're going to need to source this bash script so that we can use the auto completion for Colcon arguments. And instead of sourcing this script every time we open a new terminal, I am simply going to do jedit um, here, bash lc. So let's open this. And let's put that on the side. All right. We are going to do source. So after the line to source the ROS2 installation, I'm going to add another line source with this. So the path here, right there, slash user slash share slash colcon are complete slash hook slash this script right there. Okay, so we can make sure that this is going to be sourced every time we open a terminal or a session. Let's save the bash RC and quit. Okay, now let's go back to our home directory. And here either you open new terminals or you can just do source bash RC. So you can make sure that the changes have been made. And let's also source every terminal we have for now. Source so dot bash rc here and source dot bash rc. Okay, so Colcon is installed and we can also use auto completion in all terminals that we have, plus any new terminal that we open will be already correctly configured. Great, now we have Colcon and the auto completion. Let's go back to creating our workspace. And so what is a ROS2 workspace? Well, nothing more than a folder actually. So I am in my uh, home directory. I'm just going to do mkdir. I'm going to name it ros2 underscore ws. So that name is actually quite common. That's something you're going to see quite often as a ros2 workspace. You can use any name you want actually, but I'm going to keep this one for uh, this tutorial. So I press enter and then let's go to this ros2 workspace. So now we will need to configure this and to actually say that this is a workspace. So for now it's empty. We are going to create, so 
mkdir.src. We're going to create a source folder that should be named exactly src, okay? So now you have uh, ROS2 workspace and inside src folder. So in this src, that's where you actually are going to write your ROS2 node. And how is it going to work? Well, you already have a ROS2 global installation. So you are going to be able to use the functionalities and the nodes from the ROS2 global installations and also your own custom ROS2 nodes on top of this global installation. So we can also call this uh, workspace an overlay. Okay, that's going to be an overlay on top of your ROS2 global installation. All right, and now, well, what we can do here by going to this ROS2 workspace, not in the source, but in this ROS2 workspace directory, we can do call con space build. You press enter. And you can see, well, zero package is finished because we have nothing in the source directory, but the build has been successful. If I do ls, you can see now we have three new folders. We have build, install, and log. So Colcon is going to fetch the code that is inside the source folder, and then it's going to do stuff, it's going to build, and it's going to install nodes inside the install folder. And if we go to install here, you can see that we have actually another setup.bash script. And what do we need to do? Well, we will actually need to source this setup.bash script if we want to be able to use our custom ROS2 nodes. Okay, so once again, I'm going to go back to, let's say here, JDIT bash rc and we are going to need to do so let's say i'm here in the home directory i can do source tilde dash ros2 workspace install setup dot bash after i do this i can use the nodes that i have created and so this line i am actually going to copy it and add it after the last line of the bash rc right here so now in the bash rc i have three lines one line to set up the global ros2 installation in the environment one line for the colcon auto completion and one line for the custom ros2 workspace that we have created so now i save and either you can source the bash rc in um so actually not cheat it but you can source the bash rc in your terminal so that it's going to be able to find your custom ROS2 workspace, or you can just open new terminals. And using this ROS2 workspace, you are now ready to start creating a ROS2 application. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on ROS2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.